I am getting ready to go here. All right, we are tweeted and we are live. Um, now that is official, I can get started. Um, let me double check and make sure it tweeted properly. All right, looks like everything's good to go. So I'm working on my model right now. I have some migrations applied. Uh, I'm trying to install black. Give me a second, dash, dash, dev, dash, dash, tree. Pi test is not installed. We should write some tests. That would be good. I don't know how to do that with um, Django off the top of my head, so that'll be a fun learning experience. Let's see here. I've done it a few times. It's just been a while. I don't use Django very often. I'm installing black right now so that I get code formatting automatically. I'm going to post this on Discord too. Okay, so we're good to go. So basically, um, let me make sure that all the one is watching now. It said, all right, anyway. So we got a class-based view here um, in views. And it's just a post list view. Uh, I've never used a list view. I don't know what they do, so I'm gonna find out. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna find out what this does. But I have to wire it up to the URL first. So I guess I gotta do this. So URLs. Path forward slash equals. I'm gonna import from dot. No, this import core. I don't know how to install a Django or Django URLs. I really avoid using Django at all costs. And they have a new URL um, system. Views dot in, so you just give it a direct link to the view. Uh, so you can create a URLs file. I don't need that though. I only have like three URLs, but I'll do it anyway. So core, new file, URLs dot pi. And in that one, this is the way you used to do it. It's probably easier just to keep everything at the root. I guess I'll do that. It's the thing I hate about Django is it's so powerful and like there's multiple ways to do everything, even though there's only one way to do everything. It's, it's I don't know, it's a great framework. It really is. Core dot model. Oh, I see. 
import core.models. Post. So now I'm just now it's the model. I don't want to. I see. I have no idea what I'm doing. We want to view. Core dot views dot post. All right. Let's run that and see if it works. Oh, pip env is running because I just installed uh, black and it's relocking the dependencies. I'm just gonna cancel that. I hope everyone's having a great morning so far. Um, I'm just gonna open a new terminal here. Doo -doo. There we go. All right, so python manage.py. I don't think I made any changes since last time, but I will, cannot, oops. Make migration. I think it should say none are detected. Messages must be installed when you're using admin. Okay, I didn't know that. I disabled messages because I thought I didn't need it. Your URL forward slash starts with a forward slash. Unnecessary. Okay. So I guess the path is just an empty string. It should be called prefix or something. Oh. Pi Watchman, we should install that. If I install dash dash dev pi Watchman. I was going to use Responder to, to build this application. So basically what I'm building here is a really interesting concept. It's I want to start aggregating more Python links to people, and I want to have a site where they live and where I comment on them. So um, I'm going to render Markdown to do that. I actually need another dependency for that. I'm going to use Hypermark, which I think works. I think I got that released. Hypermark Markdown for Humans. This library is really cool. I never shipped this, so I'm gonna have to add this. As, there's not even a set.py file. Hypermark. I'll just use Mistune. I should finish Hypermark sometime. Pip env install Mistune. It'll render markdown from the database. I'm making a note to myself to study the standard libraries of other languages. Because I want to make some notes. Everyone's being rather quiet today. Let's see here. All right, so now we're gonna run the server. And post has no attribute get. All right, we didn't make a get request. We don't, we didn't tell it what to do. So def get, and it takes what arguments? 
I moved. Yeah. It takes args and quargs. And in this, let's see, we are returning a response. No, we can, I don't know how to, what, return render index.html. And then in templates, which doesn't seem to exist, or is it in more Python? There's no templates directory at all. I move things around a bit, but it doesn't appear as though there is one. That's interesting. So now we Google Django templates. I, I love Django. It's just it has such a hard time getting off the ground when you're starting from scratch, and that's annoying. Templates engine. Yeah, I know. Where's the templates folder? We could get Jinja 2 installed. That'd be neat. But I'm going to try to stick with regular. Because I've done that before and it's kind of a pain in the butt. Small feedback. Fonts are too small. Oh, sorry. I thought I was streaming in HD. I guess you'd have to full screen it. Is that better? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm still waking up. I'm, I'm really out of it. Let me move some stuff over and get coding here. Okay, um, so we're, I think the templates directory goes here. Templates, new file, index.html, and then I can just, I think I can do this. No, I don't have that installed, I guess. Is that a Django thing? Post still has no get. Response.get. Am I returning? Oh, why is it trying to do a get request on post? I don't understand what's going on here. I never use Django. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of show the things I get stuck on. I'm just going to try writing this again. Post object has no attribute get. And I lost my vape. There it is. I don't. I just have the model passed in, um, which is what they did in the example and documentation. I assumed that the list view would, you know, like, I don't know what the list view does. I guess the list view assumes that get is defined on post. All right, I'll make it bigger. There we go, it's as big as it's gonna get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little smaller than that, that's too big. That's big enough. Um, all right, so I guess they want you to define it on the model, but that kind of isn't, I'm just gonna get rid of this list view. Although I think I need it. Let's see what a list view even is. On many projects, they are typically the most commonly used view. Oh. I'm trying to use Django's um,
return context. You know, advanced features. Oh, as view. Okay, let's try that. So you have to convert. You can't just pass in the class, you have to do post.view. Let's see if that works. Post has no attribute. Oh, did I call it post? Oh, it's post list view, that's the problem. All right, so now it's running. Local host 8000. Render missing one required positional argument template name. Okay. View render. That's what I'm passing in. Uh, render Django. Everything is just like not what I would expect in Django. I'm not complaining though, it's good stuff. Render takes request. It takes the request object? Why? You have to pass in a request object. I mean, I understand why, but it's so it can set HTTP headers. No, it's the request, not the response. It's really weird. Oh, I don't need to pass in the request at all? I thought this would be a good exercise because it really shows that like when you're working with software you're not familiar with, everything is not good. So with everybody, including myself. Yeah, you do need to pass in the request. Template does not exist. All right, now I'm gonna move templates, I guess here. I don't know what this is. I'm confused. The, the templates are in core now, so maybe they'll get found. Where is it searching for them? I always thought that Django created a templates directory for you. I don't know what. I'm remembering. There we go, it's working. All right, cool. So we're using a list view for no reason at all. I need to figure out how these list views work. If anyone wants to explain, that would be great. Self.objects list will contain the list of objects. Okay, so how do I, I still don't get this. List view models, don't know. oh, paginate by, that's nice. So I don't have things in my, Paginate by equals, we'll do 50. All right, and that'll automatically give me those. But I need to do a subset of model, of posts. So I'm gonna do def. Um, I should be able to overwrite that method. Oh, get query set. And that takes get the list of items review must be iterable and must be it may be a query set. Okay, cool. That's all I have to do. 
So I do post dot objects, right? Dot, uh, I don't know how to select in Django form. I don't know anything. Uh, let's see here. This is annoying. Dot filter. Objects. Dot filter. And I want. Um, equals true. Published equals true. And then in my indexational, I'll do four article in except for it's getting passed in as what's it called I see no advantage to using this this list but I'm sure that there's some reason to do it so I'm gonna try to do it oh dot all I don't want all I want a query set I don't want to get all of them, I don't think, but you might be right. Um, I'm trying to pass. I'm trying to find out what the name of the arg the variable is in the list view. List view Django. I didn't know Django had list views. That's actually really interesting. There's also detail view. I'll use that next. Oh, and you can use the new syntax. Beautiful. Okay, so URLs. That's a post list view. And then we want slug colon slug. Forward slash? No forward slash. And we're instead of, we're going to do a post list view, we're just going to do a post view. That should work. And then for this, I'll do a post, a post detail view, which is a list detail view. Now to use this one, get context data. I'm so confused. List detail view. All right. So the list view has an object list. Watchman doesn't work on Windows. I know all this stuff, I just never use Django. Post detail view. A oh, list detail view isn't defined. List detail view. detail view is that what it's called list view detail it's just detail view
most detailed view. We don't have any posts, so it's working. It's all going to the admin, which, oh, that, okay, that's working. All right, we're gonna make a post, add a post. It's gonna be called test post. Its text will be, this is a test. Tags are test. And then it passes a URI. So I'll just link to my own blog. This is published. Well, I'll unpublish it first. Ah, uh, Python int too large to convert to a SQLite integer. Why am I using SQLite? I thought I was using. Should be using database environment variable. The database URL isn't loaded. Uh, dot env is empty. That helps. Change that when I'm done now. Exit pipm shell. It'll reload the .env file. Now I run python manage.py run server. thought that oh maybe I never added a super user on Postgres yeah I didn't uh, all right well that's enough streaming for today thank you very much